Hi, I'm here to talk about creating a menu, the importance of creating a menu. This will save you money because you will know exactly what to buy from the grocery store and you will know exactly what you're going to have for each day. This will also save you time and it will relieve you of stress, the stress of what are we going to have today? And also your children will find that it provides predictability and children like routine. And when you're finished creating the menu, it's helpful to post it on the refrigerator. And you can also have your children help you with creating the menu. Now you're going to want to uh, obtain a collection of recipes. And so that's why I'm so happy that you uh, signed up for my cooking course, because you can add these recipes to the ones you already have. Now let's dive into these, uh, this, these ideas that I have for you. Now, uh, if you have a traditional uh, style of eating, that means you don't have any restrictions. Uh, uh, these are suggestions, okay? Um, on Sunday, uh, that could be your casserole day. On Monday, that could be your uh, loaf, loaf day. Like you can have ground turkey or regular um, ground beef. A lot of people don't like ground turkey, but I do. But if you want to have uh, this, these are just suggestions. Okay. So uh, you could have loaf day. Tuesday will be, can be chicken day. Any kind of chicken dish you want. If your kids know that, hey, on Tuesday, we have some form of chicken. Yeah, they can look forward to that. Then Wednesday can be potluck day. And potluck is a fancy word for leftovers. And a lot of people that I know like leftovers. And one way to keep your leftovers fresh is to, uh, if you cook a lot of something and then you put it in Ziploc bags, Ziploc freezer bags, label it, what it is, and the date and you put that in the freezer, then on the days that you don't feel like cooking, you can just reach into your freezer and have something that's already cooked. That is very helpful. A lot of moms find that it's very helpful. Now, on Thursday, that can be chicken day. Yeah, Tuesday and Thursday can be chicken day. Okay, now Friday, that can be seafood day. Every Friday, your kids can look forward to having seafood. Saturday should be like a fun day. Saturday, they can have hot dogs or hamburgers or pizza, something fun. And Saturday, since most people are off of work, you may want to cook with your kids and really um, any day that you are off you might be off of work during the weekday uh, kids find it very a lot of fun to cook with their parents that can be an activity that you can do with your ch children all right so if you have a healthier diet if you have a healthier diet then um, you can Sunday can be a uh, loaf day, some kind of fancy loaf. If you uh, are vegan or vegetarian, you can have like some kind of zucchini loaf or tofu loaf. Um, loafs, that's a good idea. That's a lot of moms feel that, that it's very convenient and um, children like them. On Monday, that can be pasta, pasta day, pasta salad, 
pasta salad, pasta, anything. Just get your pasta recipes and Monday, those recipes are quick and easy, very quick and easy. Tuesday can be casserole day, any kind of casserole. And I, your children, I think they would like that. Wednesday can be spaghetti and lasagna. Spaghetti and lasagna, that's a fun dish. Children love spaghetti. And Thursday can be meatloaf day. Friday, seafood. And then we're back to Saturday where it's a fun day, hot dogs or hamburgers or pizza. So these are all suggestions. I hope these suggestions were helpful. And uh, give me some comments. Let me know uh, what you think. Let me know what you think of uh, these suggestions. So anyway, that's it for now. And thanks so much for watching. And please remember to give me a comment, even if there's something that I could do to improve these videos, please let me know. Well, that's it for now. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.